Hello and welcome back to another 1001 beers you must try before you die. Cowabunga, fellow hipsters. Yes, punk squirrel IPA and all that. Um, we're out here in my garden. It's getting a little bit cold yes. now. We, we have got some heat, so you can probably just see the heat bounce behind us. It looks like big, massive red blocks, but it's still a bit a bit chilly. James so... is going to hell if Greta Thunberg's got anything to do with it. It's nice, though. It's nice having it on your back. Well, no, 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 this is fine, because um, our uh, uh, energy supplier tariff is 100% renewable energy, so this is absolutely fine. Oh, well, there we go. So this is Eat all that, driven... Thunberg. Yeah, yeah, well, up, up yours, Thunberg. <laughs> I've got renewables, and I'll use as much electricity as I can pay for, so... <laughs> to that. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? So uh, we continue. Anyway, we continue our Scottish Odyssey of beers um, through this one here. First brewed 2005. It's not been around a while. It's seven percent. Bit, bit of a, a nice warmer. And it is uh, 1488 whiskey beer, which is very. Yeah, you know, this is very interesting. So this is by Black Wolf Brewery, uh, but it's made between them and Chula Badin distillery all the, from the to the, to the all from Scotland uh, for the Black Wolf Brewery brewed in Scotland a partnership between the Black Wolf Brewery and the Tuna Bardeen distillery has produced something special unique beer with light whiskey aroma and clean fresh aftertaste be warmed once bitten forever smitten uh, okay the tasting notes in the book deep golden colour is reminiscent of a single malt as is its fruity yet smoky aroma. Very mildly hot, in parts warmth in the throat as it is drunk. Despite its strength, it's deceptively light and refreshing with sweet vanilla and tart notes with a strong whiskey finish. Now, Ooh. I don't like whiskey that much as a general concept. Now, I want to like whiskey. I'm now at the age where I want to be able to sit in a smoking jacket of an evening <laughs> and, have a, and have a wee dram, but I don't really like whiskey. But so therefore, I like the idea of this, and I'm hoping it's nice because I feel like this might be a gateway drug into whiskey. Oh, but gateway drugs don't exist. Apparently, they do. So I hope you like this because I do like the concept and the general taste of whiskey as a as yeah. a thing. So I, whis yeah, I'm exactly the same as you with whiskey. I, I really, really want to like whiskey, but apart from the really, really, really peaty ones. Yeah, like I, I, and even then, yeah, having I them like the, it's a once in a an occasion thing. Yeah, I like the incredibly PT ones as well. So, should we have? So let's, let's, let's see let's what the see. whiskey beer is all about. Now, I've not heard of the distillery before, so let's see what it's all about. It's a very nice. It's a very nice bottle. bottle. Nice and nice shiny uh, red writing, and the gold is also nice and shiny. It's, it's, it's nice. It's very and very nice indeed. It's got a little bit of class to it. I quite like that. It's got some sort of signature from, I'm guessing, maybe the brewer or the distiller or... The head of the Bank of England. It's not the same one as the bank notes, is it? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I've got more to say about this, but that, we'll come back to that in a minute. I'm not stopping you. Uh, but that is a nice bottle. Oh, wow, that is light, isn't it? It is light. That's amber-coloured. I was surprised. Should we go for the smell? Well, what that. were you expecting? Like, it be dark or something? I was expecting it to be more copper-coloured, I suppose, because whiskey, it's kind of... Whiskey's a sort of generally Ooh. richy brown okay. colour isn't it this is <laughs> should we go for a smell far more beer looking than I expected I'm just getting beer flow uh, beer smells oh hang on give it give it the camera waft yeah then you get the bang there's definitely some whiskey behind that after that okay should we go for the taste then yeah let's do it oh that's interesting Uh, now, first of all, I'm, I'm taking in the, the comment of despite its strength, it's deceptively light and refreshing. I'm getting that. It's just not taste like 7% at all. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I was expecting like this taste of like just booze. Yes, just same. pure, absolutely sweet booze. This, well, it's very nice. I can see how the whiskey is like this, almost like this overarching essence. It's Yeah, it's very light and smooth. Um, yeah, the... the yeah, the whiskey is, is light. It's there as a, a, a yeah, straightforward but it really flavor. Does, but it's, it does it's not taste big. a whiskey, but it also tastes like a beer. It's really odd. If you are buying this because you think you want the bang of whiskey, 
this isn't the one for you. It does not have that. It doesn't have the big barrel PT flavors. It's very light. The, the whiskey is a, a gentle, a gentle wee waft. So, if I can talk about a bit how it might descri uh, describe it a bit more here. So, located in the heart of Pup, uh, Perthshire in Scotland is a Chulabadine distillery. Here they notice there are a lot of empty whiskey barrels lying around doing nothing. And as this well, that's distillery... because they're all alcoholics and they've drunk everything. Perhaps they should put some whiskey back. And as this distillery is located on the site of Scotland's oldest public brewery, which switched over to distilling, distilling in the 1940s, what better product to fill those barrels with than fine ale? Mm. So, to make it, the wash, the fresh mountain spring water, and malted barley, quantities of local water and yeast are taken from the distillery to the bridge to, to the uh, to the Black Wolf Brewery in Stirling. The beer is lightly hopped and fermented for a bit longer than it would be. It would be usual for a normal beer, the addition of some sugar, hence the strong alcohol content. Hmm. The beer is then aged in recently emptied whiskey barrels for up to 12 weeks. Previously, the barrels have been filled with bourbon for a decade and then single malt for a further 10 years, and the American oak passes a deep whiskey flavour to the ale. It is in sterile, filtered bottles and sealed to keep the unique taste as fresh as possible. Blah, blah, blah. And the name is inspired by the year King James the Fourth of Scotland had his coronation. And also, when records show he bought beer from the brewery on the site where the distillery now stands. Well, now I understand there's not actually whiskey infused into it, but it is very much clearly uh, a beer that's been made in, uh, like been sat in a whiskey barrel. And I, I, I like that actually. Yeah, it's. I'm actually really enjoying this. Mm. It's not what I was expecting. I was initially disappointed because it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, but as I've had a few it's sips, it's smooth. It's a, it's a it's a really nice smooth. Just it's just got a gentle flavour profile of of the, the the whiskey, the tannins, but not a huge amount. But it it really does get the flavour mm. profile underneath. Just really does. Oh, it's like um. It's like the old, the old the chap from the old grey whistle test. It's smooth. It's nice. It's smooth. It's nice. Yeah. It's mm. it's not a banger by any way, shape, or form. Nice. But it's it's it's, it's really quite good. Thanks, thanks, whistling Bob Harris. Smart. Um, nice. Yeah. I I can't quite get my head around it, but it is enjoyable, and I'm drinking it quite happily. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure the purists would be going. Oh my god! There's not enough whiskey in this. But I think as a but it hasn't got whiskey drinker, in it. it hasn't got well, in the whiskey. Sorry, the whiskey flavors, the impartments. I, 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 well, I actually more. This is actually mm. this is the most whiskey-ish beer I've ever had. But I like the fact that it's really like. I think the whiskey really has imparted its flavor quite well. Oh, the innocent gum ones tend to give you a quite a quite a bang. Yeah, but I quite this is so smooth. I'm liking the smoothness of it. It's, well, they this... take, they basically what they've taken is is kind of like a blank canvas beer and allow it to soak up all the whiskey flavors mm. and gone here you go. Yeah, this is definitely one for, for those for those of you who've who have barrel aged barrel condition, whatever you want to call it, bloody bloody blah. This this is one that's very much it's the beer is the king here. With some imparted flavours, rather than the beer being a hod carrier for a huge bang of whiskey or barrel flavours, and it's it's genuinely quite impressive. I like this. Beer. Yeah, no, it's it's really nice indeed. It certainly doesn't taste seven. I'm not getting I'm not getting much in the way of warmth. No, no, no. I mean, again, that's something that's like, oh, you're expecting a bit of warmth because it says whiskey. You're not getting the warmth off it. It's it, it's the, it's all about the flavours. There's a lot there. I'm very impressed by this. Actually, this is really quite nice indeed. Hmm. Not bad at all. Which is good because I had to buy a bottle, uh, a pack of eight of them. <laughs> uh, you've got one at home, and I'm sure you're quite pleased about that now. Yeah, I am. Yes, uh, I'm and I'm going to give away some others. Tony Slevin is getting one, and uh, uh, my partner's brother is getting one because he's a fan of beer and whiskey. Therefore, he can only like this. Um, Interesting, of course. It's spelt the Scottish way without an e. With the e, which is neither correct nor incorrect. It's just the Scottish way, it's whichever way. It's it's dangerous. You could drink this quite. I mean, I'll, I will get through this in about five to ten minutes. It won't last long. But that is, I mean, it's dangerous. This is much better than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting to hate this. I would happily have this again. Yeah, I wouldn't. 
say no to another. If someone gave me a, a box of these bottles, I'd happily take them and drink them. Hmm. That's really quite nice indeed. Yeah, subtle. I enjoy. Yeah, good. Well, I think we'll leave that one there. Like, comment, subscribe, and at some point in the probably distant future, we'll see even more and more beer reviews post-pandemic. Maybe we'll see. Let's go. Bye.